Brevet Brigadier General William Emil Doster was born on January 8, 1837, at the Moravian town of Bethlehem, Pennsylvania. His father, Louis Doster, a native of Swabia, Germany, served a campaign against Napoleon and emigrated to America with his father, Dr. Daniel Doster, in 1817 at the age of 20. His mother Pauline Louise Eggert Doster was the daughter of Matthew Eggert, at one time Vorsteher of the Brethren's House, and granddaughter of Adam Rupert, a soldier of the Revolution. His father owned and operated the successful Moravian woolen mills in Bethlehem. As a child, he preferred drawing and painting, but as the seventh son, as his grandfather before him had been, he appeared destined for the profession of medicine. However, he did not like medicine or have any interest in pursuing it as a career. William attended the Moravian school until the age of 14, and after a careful preparatory training entered the sophomore class of Yale College, graduating in 1857. In 1859 he graduated from the Harvard Law School. In 1860 he matriculated as student of civil law in the University of Heidelberg, Germany, and heard lectures on the Code Napoleon in Paris. Upon his return home he apprenticed with ex-governor Andrew Reeder at Easton, and was admitted to practice at the Northampton County Bar. Aside from fencing and riding, taught in the European universities, he had no military training. When the war broke out he was in the office of Van Son of Philadelphia, but putting aside briefs and black letter books, he responded to the president's call for volunteers and recruited a company of cavalry, which, not being wanted for that arm, was turned over to Colonel Edward Baker's infantry regiment. Doster then raised another company for Harlan's Light Cavalry, of which he was made captain, his muster bearing a date of August 15, 1861. A few weeks later, this company was transferred to the 4th Pennsylvania Cavalry. On October the 28th, he was promoted to after the war Doster practiced law in Washington for a short time, and at the trial of the Lincoln assassination conspirators, he was appointed by Judge Advocate Generals Hold and Bingham to defend Louis Payne and George Atzerodt, two of the defendants. Both were convicted and hanged. Soon after the close of the war he returned to Northampton County and resumed the practice of the law at Easton, residing at Bethlehem. From 1867 to 1879, he held the office of register in bankruptcy for the 11th Congressional District. He was also the longtime president of the Lehigh National Bank, 